And the surface, which is a very highly smooth surface, is created from polishing the pieces, burnishing it. Um, I rub the, the, the wear at different stages of drying. First one, it's a little damp. Then uh, a little further drying, I, I rub it again. Uh, and then when it's bone dry, I use a little vegetable oil, which creates that really nice sheen that you see on the surface of the work. Once it's put into the ground, into this pit firing process, uh, a variety of colors and fire markings appear because of the materials I fire with, like seaweed, dung, um, vegetable matter, fruit rinds, uh, orange peels, sawdust, uh, some oxides from metals, and, and the fire and the flame and the combination uh, of the materials in the fire and create all the wonderful colors that you see on the work. Here are a few glazed pieces that I did recently. Uh, this is a bowl with all my cool colors. I love purples and blues and greens. Um, this is a process where we take three or four glazes and we water them down slightly and then we pour them all in here and we do one time around and you just get this wonderful marbling effect from that. And then this is painted on the outside. This is another one that has several different colors, um, layered colors. So you learn how the glazes move and run and how they all work with each other. Color, one color on top of another is different than on top of another. This has a little splatting inside. Glazes are fun to experiment with, but sometimes they can be unpredictable. So my new passion is a pouring paint on flower pots. And here are the ones that are in current uh, that I'm currently working on. I start with a terracotta pot. I put a heavy coat of primer on it and then I put a coat of color on it and then I pour the paint over it and this is what the end result is going to look like. Um, after it's been painted I cover it with three coats of uh, a polymer gloss uh, to finish them off and to protect them and um, yeah I'm going to show you how this works. To see more from these creators and more than 150 other artists, musicians, and poets, visit virtualartinthepark.org.